I'm sweating right now, it's so hot. Today's video, I have 10 ways you can achieve must-see, cozy, high-end fall home decor using Dollar Tree items. And what's great about this video is if your Dollar Tree is like mine and it is so slow bringing out the seasonal decor, you can recreate these projects using some seasonal decor, but mostly everyday items that are found at Dollar Tree. Also, the best part about today's video is it is a collab with my good friend, Kristen K. We both have 10 fall DIYs for you. So you have 20 ideas in total so that you can start crafting for fall or decorating for fall. I will have her video down in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. Send her some love. She is absolutely awesome. So, and we're also wearing our Mean Girl shirts because we decided to match for this collab. And bonus, if you like Mean Girls, the movie, not being a mean girl, the movie. What is your favorite quote? Because that movie is so quotable. All right, let's get started. Our first fall DIY is going to be this wreath. Now I picked up a whole bunch of these mums from Dollar Tree and I recently showed you in a floral video how to style them. Just basically simple ways like in a vase or different floral arrangements. But these are also great if you have an existing wreath like this one. This one I got at Walmart last year and I love it because it's on a grapevine so I can easily add florals to it year round and just kind of switch it out for the season. So I'm just cutting the mum off of the stem, shortening them a bit, and then adding them to this wreath just so I can add a little bit of fall to a wreath I already have. And once you add all of the mums, you have this beautiful, vibrant fall wreath. You can also just make a wreath of Dollar Tree mums if you want, but I love the addition of this with all of the greenery. Next, we're going to make this cute pumpkin wreath insert sign. So I'm taking this tag sign from Dollar Tree. This is in the like picture frame section year round. I've seen it and I'm going to use this little spatula from my Cricut and remove the chalkboard and I'm going to add some shiplap paper to this. You can add any scrapbook paper you want and Dollar Tree even has some awesome peel and stick wallpaper if that's what you want to use also. So once this is trimmed to size to fit, I want to go back and get rid of the hot glue that dried up and then it took a little bit of the existing paper off. So a Dollar Tree sanding sponge is what I will use to make sure everything is smooth before we add the scrapbook paper. Now I actually used Mod Podge, which I don't like using that much anymore, but I was able to get a really thin layer so I had no bubbles. My spray adhesive was out. So Mod Podge, glue stick, whatever you want. And then once you have that scrap of paper on, go back in with that Dollar Tree sanding sponge so you can smooth out any edges that are sticking out. Now you can of course use a Cricut or a stencil, but I found these really cute letter stickers from Dollar Tree. So to make this completely Dollar Tree, I decided to use those. You can have welcome on here, your last name, hi, hello, whatever you want. And then I also wanted to add these adorable pumpkin stickers. I love these with the leopard print and kind of the muted tones. So I added some of these to this as well. And let me know if you have seen these stickers at your Dollar Tree. These are definitely new to me. I'm surprised my Dollar Tree has these out, yet they don't have like anything else for seasonal decor so far. Usually I see seasonal stuff like although it's early, the end of July this year, I'm still waiting. But these stickers are definitely a favorite of mine, so I picked them up. Then some hot glue to attach this little piece back to the tag, and then I decided to go in and add another pumpkin to the top just to make it a little bit more fall. And this is a tag sign, so I took my weeding tool and I just poked the hole again so I can string some jute through. This is a way easier way to do it instead of trying to cut the hole with scissors because I find that the hole never cuts nice. So a little bit of a poke and you get that hole back so you can string some jute in.
Next is a really easy fall wall hanging. So I'm using these neutral pumpkin picks from Dollar Tree. I picked up two. And then in a recent video, I just showed you how to make a super easy yarn hanging. If you want the specifics on this yarn hanging, I will leave the original tutorial down below, but I love saving these from project to project because you can add vibrant florals like this, or you can add these picks and these have um, a nice wire backing. So you can bend them to fit the dowel that you're adding them to. And I think this is absolutely beautiful for an autumn decor piece. Our next cozy fall DIY is this faux blanket basket. So for this project, you'll need four of these chalkboard signs from Dollar Tree and go ahead and take off the jute hanging on them. And this is what's going to build our faux basket. Now I found these peel and stick wallpaper pieces from Dollar Tree. They're about like an 11 by 14 size and they are really good quality. I was super impressed with them. They have great like adhesive on the back and they're not paper thin, which is a plus I feel like for the Dollar Tree. Um, so I just went ahead and cut these to size for all four and added them. Now, if you don't have this adhesive from the Dollar Tree, you can use another adhesive wallpaper you may have on hand or scrapbook paper would work fine. Just apply it with either some spray adhesive, Mod Podge. I wouldn't do glue for this. You want this to be sturdy. So once all four pieces are shiplapped, we're gonna put this together. Now I did not do a bottom for this because this is a like faux basket just to kind of have some decorative pumpkins and a blanket. But you can always add another to make this a true basket. So I'm gonna use some of the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree to kind of make this more stable instead of just adding hot glue to the sides. So I'm gonna start with this one side here, add some hot glue to the bottom and the side of the tumbling tower block. And I'm gonna do this for all four sides and we're gonna add three per side. Now be careful because I burnt myself so bad and yet here I go, I'm still touching the hot glue. <laughs> um, so I would definitely use the finger protectors for this because I burnt myself almost the entire time I did this. And I'm just gonna repeat this for, like I said, all four sides. You wanna make sure that this is nice and stable. Even though I'm not putting a bottom on this, you still want this to stay together so you can add pumpkins and cozy things and all that. So if you love fall like me, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite part of fall? For me, I just love like anything cozy, like cozy blanket, watching a movie, having a nice like fall candle burning. That is just my favorite and like the crisp air, like all of it. I cannot wait for summer to be over. Anyone else? Like I just doing all these fall DIYs just makes me want fall. So once that basket is put together, I added a blanket, some larger Walmart pumpkins, I almost said pillows, and a Dollar Tree pumpkin, and I think this is so cute. You can even add a little like decal to the front if you want, or leave this as is, and you get this great big piece using Dollar Tree supplies. So when I think cozy in fall, I always think coffee and tea. So we're gonna make this cute pumpkin tea or coffee canister. I found this super cute and really heavy pumpkin from Dollar Tree. It's pretty flat, which you want for this. And I showed you compared to the other kind of like porcelain pumpkins that they have. So I picked up this gift box cylinder and I basically just wanted something that the pumpkin can fit on top of and was relatively the same size. So just a little bit of hot glue to this and I loved this canister as is. I'm kind of into the jewel tones with traditional tones for fall. So I made sure that this stood on with lots of hot glue and that is it. You can also add E6000, but I'm able to pick this up from the stem, no problem. So this I thought would be great for a coffee bar. You can add some coffee grounds to it, coffee beans, or I added some tea bags to it. And I think this is so cute for a fall coffee bar. 
Next DIY is this really easy Dollar Tree fall candle. So I picked up this porcelain pumpkin from Dollar Tree. It has a lid. And in a recent DIY, I showed you how to make a candle with the soy wax, which I can have linked down below, and some essential oils. So I followed that same process. I will have that original tutorial down in the description box below. But I like doing this with essential oils. You can really customize the scent. Now I did cinnamon, clove, and mandarin, and I did for this candle about 15 drops of each just because I wanted it to be a little bit more scented. So once the wax melts and you add your oils, you're just gonna pour this in. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna take a wick set. I got this one off Amazon. It has an adhesive part that you put in the middle with the wick, and then you're gonna take the wood pieces and put them on either side so that the wick stays upright. Once that's all set, then you're just going to pour your wax. I like to pour it into like a little pitcher. It's just easier so that when you're pouring it into what will be your candle, it doesn't spill all over the place. And then I poured that right into our pumpkin candle. I think this is so cute as is, and then you can light it and you have a really cozy, pretty fall candle. Okay, next we're gonna style these Dollar Tree pumpkins. So for this, I used this garden dish from Dollar Tree and you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove that sticker. I was actually pleasantly surprised to see this, this sticker actually removed easily. And then I'm going to spray paint this with this Anvil Gray chalk finish spray paint. You're gonna want to make sure that you spray paint the top and bottom of this since if you just do the top, it's gonna look weird on the side of the bowl. And I left the tag in the bottom because no one's gonna see that and that one did not come off easy, but here is the bowl. And then I added some greenery from Walmart in these beautiful jewel toned pumpkins. I am so into the jewel tones for this year. I always like to incorporate some traditional rust colors, but this is just so pretty to me. Now, keeping with the jewel tone theme, I'm gonna make this cute sign for a tiered tray. So I found these cute stickers, again, from Dollar Tree, and I had to incorporate them. So this small sign is perfect for tiered trays since it's kind of a block sign and it stands up on its own. So the first thing that I did was add this really pretty maroon folk art acrylic paint to the middle. Now you can unscrew this, but I was going to paint the frame of this anyway. Um, if you're not, then I would definitely just detach this so you don't get paint all over. But I did two coats of this maroon color and then I went in with a really pretty copper for the frame part of this and I thought that the contrast looked really pretty and very fall-like. And let me know down in the comments, what is your color scheme for fall? Are you changing it this year? Are you doing the same? Or I always like to know what people decorate with for fall. Now I'm gonna add one of these adorable leopard and neutral pumpkin stickers right to the middle of this. And this is just such a cute sign for a fall tiered tray.
Next up, we're gonna make this really pretty fall sign. So I found this calendar from Dollar Tree. I love this because it's all the different seasons and then it includes scriptures from Psalms. And I thought this would be great for fall. So I'm taking this sign and I'm just gonna remove the flowers since we're gonna cover that with the calendar. And just to smooth out where the hot glue was, I'm gonna take a sanding sponge. And I decided to take October's um, printout out. I just thought the beautiful fall leaves were just so pretty. Now you can either just do it the trees or do the side of the page that has the scripture on it. I chose to do the side of the page with the scripture. And then really easy, you're just gonna trim to size and then add this back like a picture frame literally takes minutes but the calendars are just such a great way to get some nice wall art i've used them before for horse pictures and different scenery um, i haven't been able to find a lot of the really popular ones but this calendar just spoke to me and i thought this was so beautiful for fall What is more cozy than a nice cup of coffee to go in the fall time? So we're gonna take these Dollar Tree stickers and this travel mug from Dollar Tree and we're just gonna add them to this mug. Really simple. So I just took two items to secure the mug so it doesn't roll all around. And then I decided to spell out happy fall with these stickers. And then to make this um, I would not dishwash this. I would hand wash this. You're just going to add a layer of Mod Podge on just to make sure that the stickers stay in place. But these were really good quality stickers. They weren't flimsy. And I like that they had a translucent background. So they give the illusion of a vinyl look like you would get with a cutting machine. But instead you're using some Dollar Tree stickers. So these are a definite um, great alternative to a Cricut if you do not have one. I'm gonna go over the stickers with some Mod Podge. Now, dishwasher safe Mod Podge would be preferable, but I still think I would not dishwash this, so I used some regular Mod Podge. And you're just gonna add a thin layer over the stickers, and then I just kind of smoothed it out with my hand to make sure that everything was even, so you have enough Mod Podge to keep everything on, but that it doesn't make the actual stickers look cloudy. There you have it, this really easy mug. I love how this turned out, super simple and great for fall. So I hope you enjoyed these 10 Dollar Tree high-end cozy ideas for fall. I hope they gave you some inspiration to start your fall crafting or decorating. Be sure to let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. And don't forget to check out the description box below so you can see what Kristen made. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for spending some time of your day and watching my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.